You a runner free pop with a chop my niggas before we spin it through your block. It's at 300 what that nigga shut the top. They told me TP. Welcome back to WSU Radio, the number one college radio station all over New York City with your host, Intro Kev. We had to bring him out. He's back. I from that dropping that one song called I'm Back. We got Chan 300 in the building. What's going on? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? How's it? Welcome back. Where? Welcome back. You know what I'm saying? First thing you did was drop a song. What made you feel like the that that beat, that selection, everything that song was right to be the first track back? I ain't gonna front. When I first made the track, I was with my son Mula. Like I made the track, then I I told my son Mula because my son Mula did the same beat. So I told my son Mula, "Yo, hear this shit? You, you jacking this shit? Like you think I could do this shit?" My son said, "Yeah, he jacking that shit." Cause he was jacking that part and shit. Where I said, "Oh, shot him out and shit." My son was jacking that. So boom, I did that shit. My son had a B and B. I just shot that shit. We went viral, gangster. I'm trying to go up though. The B and B. Was that the um the free Mula party? Yeah, that's a fact. Well, I seen that y'all posting every day. Free Mula. Any update on Mula? Um. My son doing good right now, gangster. Mm. Living, you know the vibes. Niggas right. know. Everyone else, I know. Facts. Um, free banger, all that. Free banger, free the whole three hundred. Facts, free all the guys. From free A one. All the guys. All right. And he swear. dropped. It. He dropped it. From my son free swear. Free I know A one dropped the album. A lot of people tape, and a lot of people were surprised, like how he was able to drop a tape. That's a fact. All right. So you know, besides that, man, I know we go back to your career. When you first started, you know what I'm saying? When people, a lot of people knew you from Baby Chan and now you Chan 300. So take me back even before Baby Chan was a thing. Like, what made you get into rapping? Um, I ain't on front. It was my older cousin. My son was singing. He was a singing nigga type shit, but I started jacking him. I was like 11 years old. I always wanted to been rapping shit. So one day, it was my 12 years old birthday. Like, I remember when I first turned 12, I told my mom, yo, mom, we out to the studio. I, I want to go to the studio to, for my birthday. And that's when I, st- I just had fun with that shit. Like, I just wanted to vibe out with that shit just to see what, like, for me, what the stew was about. Then, I just dropped that track, put it on SoundCloud, and then shit was handing a little numbers and shit, 10K a little bit. I, I-, I was only, like, 12 years old, though, for me. I've been doing this rap and shit. I ain't gonna front. Niggas uh-huh. know me from the cities to everywhere. So what was that moment for you from, you know, how you said you went to the studio for fun? What was that moment to you when we like, was it the 10K where you looked at it like, oh, I could really do this shit? Yeah, that's a fact. It was one of my mans from, he was from Harlem and shit. It was one of my mans. We went to Plug Studios. That was my first studio I ever went to, Plugs. Went to Plugs. I made the track. It was called Get Back. I always remember the song, too. It was me and him. And me and him, put we put it on SoundCloud. That shit had like 10K, 20K. That's when I seen, oh, all right. I, could, I see I could do a little sum. But I wasn't really taking music seriously at that time, for me. Mm. That's like... I started taking music seriously, like, when, as soon as I got older type shit, like. Okay. But I was still fucking with the stool, writing and shit. Like, I always been a freestyling nigga, like, so anybody, put a, rapping, yeah, like anybody put a beat on or something on YouTube, I'm just going off, like, flowish. Like, I just All been right. doing that, like, it's just. And how long ago was this? Was this, like, a couple of- yeah, this was way back type shit. Way, way back. back. Nigga way back. I was 12 years old. 12, yeah. yeah All right, so. My mother, when I met him, like. Nigga, yeah. niggas was showing me like his songs and shit on the mm. phone. Niggas sound like a little ass kid. I'm like, who is this nigga? Little ass boy. Oh okay. yeah, because you said way back, right? And that and the first song you said was named "Get Back." Yeah, so it sounds like back. is it a drill song? No, um, because the title like, like a rapping song. It was not. Oh, it, was not right. no, it was not really like I wasn't no, into was like saying. I ain't know about drill rapping at that time. Yeah, I was on some rapping shit type shit. Okay. Like. So that's the reason why I asked, like, how long ago? Because the the title just sounds like a like a, a drill record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it sound, like it's it. You could most likely like if you hear it right now, you would think it's a drill song. But it was not like we wasn't thinking about doing the drill track for me. Like it okay. was just some rapping shit. Like, okay. We didn't even know about drill rapping. I didn't even know what drill rapping was at that time. I didn't mm. know. So what? When did that transition from rapping, rapping to like oh, I'm gonna just hop on the drill wave? Um, I hopped on the. I, I ain't on front. When I turned, like, 14, 15, I was on some singing shit. Like, you could see, like, when you search up my name, Baby Chan, like, when that was my name, Baby Chan, nigga, um, all my songs is mostly, like, singing songs type shit. Like. Mm-hmm. But then I started getting into the drill wave when I seen them for me. All my niggas opened them doors for me. I just went through that, and then my niggas was doing good on that. So I said, let me see how I sound. I was sounding good on that shit, too. Mm-hmm. My niggas was telling me I was flowing on that. And... You haven't been back to the melodic sound since the Baby Chan days, right? Nah, I still be doing melodic tracks too, but I don't just drop it like 
niggas know I'm versatile with this shit. Like, I still be doing tracks. It's just in the cut. Oh, okay. So, yeah. right now, are, are you planning to drop any of those melodic songs? Or? That's a fact. I ain't gonna lie. I was just thinking about that, too. I was thinking about going up with this drill shit, for me? But I can go up with both ways. Like, mm. you feel me? Like, I'm gonna drop that, and I'm gonna drop that one. Okay. Niggas gonna say, oh, this nigga's versatile. Like, he could do both. Like, you mm. feel me? And do you feel like you want to add the melodic sound just because, do you feel like drill's marketable or you feel like you need the melodic sound to help you take I feel like drill, yeah, drill is marketable right now. Like, drill's getting everybody up right now. Gangsta, like, is winning right now. I ain't gonna front, but it's good to show people that you could do both type shit, feel me? Like, you're not only into that one thing, like, switch it up type shit, feel me? Like, mm-hmm. but, well, something different. The melodic can't switch it up. Oh, right. And... When you first uh, was Baby Chain the name since you was twelve or my, that's my nickname forever. Oh, forever. Because of my dad, like my dad gave me that name. Oh, okay. been my nickname forever. So what made you come back and change it to Chain Three Hundred? Um, I ain't gonna front. I was not jacking that baby shit. I ain't gonna front. I'm not a baby <laughs> no more. I ain't even gonna front to you. Like, but like you see, little baby, all the type shit. Like nah, I was jacking it at first. I was jacking it. Like I ain't gonna front. I'm still jacking it. Like you can still call me that. That's just my artist name. For me, like mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like the people that really fuck with me. And really grew up on me, they call me that shit. Like, you could call uh, me that shit. Like, all right. They knew me since the Jet type shit. Yeah, all right. And then 300, you know, that's like the, the rap group based in Yonkers and everything. We had, I think, with the Valley Vells, all of them, right? Yeah. Why do you guys feel like Yonkers is blackball? I feel like, or is it either blackball or they just group you with just the Bronx? Like, they don't even consider it its own thing. They're like, oh, that's Bronx drill. Um, Niggas been doing drill rap. Young I ain't gonna front. We've been before, doing drill rapping before. 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 Mm. Yeah. But Bronx before. niggas was doing the melodic shit. Niggas been drill rapping. Been drill rapping. I ain't gonna front. You could go back yeah, to go on YouTube. You can go on YouTube. Gangsta. Resources there. All that. I, I, well, I always tell people about the Bronx drill who started. I always, I always put Mulan's name in there because my first time listening to Bronx drill was Mulan. Yeah, that's, that's how fact. I got it. My son Mulan. But they don't Mulan, give. They don't. From Yonkers, yeah. But like, they just consider us as the Bronx because oh, we doing this and that for me. Like. We not from the Bronx, mm-hmm. we from Yonkers, for me. Yeah, yeah so been doing it. I always put him there just because they're never always gonna say Yonkers drill, but I always want to put him in that conversation of people that's doing drill that will outside of Brooklyn, because you know Brooklyn always started first. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. but a fact. then like I think I went from Brooklyn to Yonkers drill, then to the Bronx. Yeah, that's a fact. And you know a lot of people don't give Mula his credit because. He's actually one of the people that fought. That's like, what I'm trying to say. My son is really underrated. I ain't gonna front. Niggas don't be trying to give my son credit. My son really started this. I ain't gonna lie. And how was your relationship with all of them? Like, how did you guys meet? Those are my, those are my hearts. Like, those are really my muddies. Like, I grew like I grew I fit grew up with them. Like, Mula, I grew up with him. I met him at a party when I was a jet. I ain't gonna front. Like, I just like, from there. Like, we just fucked with each other. All them niggas I fucked with. Like, grew up with all them niggas. We all grew up around the same neighborhood type shit. Okay. And, you know, free Moolah. What's the, what's the best story you have with Moolah? Best story I got with Moolah? Damn. Shit was, it's not even funny, but it was just not even a story. Like, like it was a story, like, shit not even funny. We was on the way to CT. My son, like, I ain't gonna front. My son was in the wet. I think he seen a day or some shit, bro. Like, and it was a day, I think it was like two days before the B&B situation. We just like, we was in the highway, my son. We seen a dead. My son just swerved and hit the, the rail and shit. Airbags came out, all of that shit. But we just like, that shit just ended up being funny and shit. But that shit was just crazy as fuck. I ain't gonna find, I never witnessed being in that shit. Like, from, right. my son Mula was tight, but then he's like, he was just laughing at that shit. He was laughing that shit off and shit. Cool. It was way more memories we got that shit. I just can't, yeah. like, for me. That was just my recently one type shit. Yeah. Who's the list? Who when y'all go to the function or party? Or the, who's the list? Three hundred member. List three hundred members. I can't even say who the list. I ain't gonna front. We all live. We all viral. I ain't gonna front. We all go crazy. That's mm-hmm. just how I be feeling. Right. It's not that one person who get lit. We all get lit when it comes mm-hmm. to music videos or functions. Who gets the most sturdiest? Who gets the most sturdiest? To me, I ain't gonna front. I'm gonna say it's gonna be. My son Mula and my son J Ham, I ain't no front. Mm. My son J Ham get sturdy. A couple other niggas too get sturdy too. My All son right. Loose, Loose get crazy. Yeah. I heard, I heard, I heard a lot of stuff with Bori and Mula and Aiden. I heard a lot of stuff about Loose. We gotta get yeah. Loose up here because that's a fact. I heard he's the, one of the most funniest people in, at three hundred. He ain't shit, my son. No funny. That's a fact though. We going up yeah. though. Um. All right. So let's say, you know. I know the 300 memories, but I'm going to ask this question. For me, 
Yeah. You, you for me, you got a girl that's a 10, right? And she got a friend that's like, like a 5. Out of all the 300, who, who you calling first, like, you know, to take one for the 10? You said. You, a girl you fucking with is a 10. She yeah. got a friend that's a 5. Oh, who you think is going to take it for the team? Yeah, who would you call from the 300 team? Oh, remember, like, yo, for me? <laughs> you said, who do you think is going to take it? I ain't going to front. I don't think none of the guys is going to take it for the team. I ain't even going to hold you. Like, she really got to be like, I ain't going to front. If she's dirt, dirt, like, <laughs> if she ain't bustable, my guys is not busting that. I ain't going to front. I ain't going to lie. That's just how it is. My mm-hmm. sons, my sons don't get into that. Mm-hmm. My sons, like, for me, 10. Uh, just like me. Which borough, all right, so which borough do you go to to get those times? Which borough is everywhere. There's bitches everywhere. I ain't going to front. I ain't going to front. Yeah. Is Yonkers bitches better than Bronx bitches? Yonkers bitches? Nah. Hell. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one, but <laughs> gangster though. Like, all right. I'll probably go to Times Square and find me a little shorty or something. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so for the fans or, you know, people that support you. Yonkers. How, how does for the fans and people that's for how does Chan three hundred riz up a girl? How do I riz up a girl? Like, <laughs> what you mean? Like, how do I? What like, like a first of all, like yeah. I don't. I ain't gonna front. I just be telling them straight up. I ain't gonna front. There's no game in me. Like, I just be pulling up on them. Like, yo, I ain't gonna front. You look good. Like, give me your number. What's up? Like, what we doing? Like, well, uh, all right. For me, I get straight into that. Mm. I ain't on some like oh, giving out lines or something. <laughs> These other niggas do like that's just I ain't gonna fuck. I feel like that shit just fake corny. Uh, I like getting straight to it. Oh, uh, naturally for me. Mm-hmm. All right. So you know, back to your music. I know you, you're back and everything. And like a lot of people, when they come back, they drop their one song. You know, either first day out, I'm back. You know. Yeah. But what is your plan after that? Because, you know, I feel like every rapper needs a plan. to. Because, you know, every, every rapper's dream is to make it. So what is your plan? You drop down back 1.7K in six days on your own YouTube channel. Congrats. After that, what's the plan? I can't do that. Um, the plan is to be consistent for me. Like, just keep dropping shit. Make sure the fans support mm-hmm. for me. Keep supporting me. Make sure they hear it, like, for me, like, just be consistent with it. Make sure they hear something, like, every, like, three weeks or every month or something. For me, give them something to hear. That's just what I want to do. That's what my time flooding, is right now. Like, flooding YouTube. Or I'm flooding YouTube. Like everything. Like, y'all going to see my face around too much. Like, mm. that's just how I'm coming. Mm. I'm trying to go up with this shit. Gangster, because I know I could. Right. And, you know, as inspiration to, you know, boring them, you know, I feel like that boring Moolah is the first... Yonkers to chart since rappers since probably DMX. And that's crazy thing, like you know for me. My son Spaz too. My son Valley Vels too. Instant. So and, um, a chart like Billboard charts, right? Oh no, no, no. no, that's what I'm saying. Billboard charts. I feel like Bori and Mula, not Mula. Bori was the first Yonkers rapper to chart on oh, Billboard yeah, Bori, yeah. since DMX, and that's a crazy. And looking at inspiration stuff like that, you could tell like, all right, we can actually make this into Instant. And how do you feel like seeing all these mainstream rappers taking y'all like the dances, the like y'all Larry's, like you know, like they're tuned in and everything like that. Niggas just tuned in, like I ain't gonna front. My son Bori, like once we seen that, once I seen that, I was like, man, that shit is crazy. Like my son really going up. Like I ain't gonna front. I was just take it from there. That's what I told him. Like he gonna really take it from there, gang. So like my son really gonna go up. Niggas gonna think. Niggas think that oh, we gonna go down and shit. Niggas just hate on us for me. We gonna go up. Niggas gonna soon see that. Yeah, shit. songs with him still. I know you ended up the bad time and somewhere. Yeah, around. of course. I just made a track with him the other day too. Mm. Gangster. All right. So, you know more about the future. What What else do you like? What's the next video that we can see? Next video with me. Yeah. Um, like in three weeks, I'll drop some. All right. I'll drop some in three weeks. All right. Is this is this rollout you're trying to have a lot of dolo songs or are you gonna have features with it? Um, I just started my YouTube channel, so I'm trying to show niggas like what I could do first, then I hit them with the features and shit. Like oh. I just started for me, so like mm-hmm. I'ma just go crazy with it. Like mm-hmm. right now I just I dropped I'm back, then I'ma drop um some other shit I got in the cut. Yeah, drop that. Just shot a vid. I just shot a vid for it, it's in mm-hmm. the making right now. 
I'm gonna drop that like in three weeks, two weeks. Uh-huh. And that's a dolo one too. Then after that, I might drop like a feature with somebody for me. One of the guys on my son Bori or my son Aiden Glow. My son Aiden Glow be talking like Yeah, Aiden Glow. I mean to know where that's what I, that's what I'm gonna get into because he's the one that be telling me like yo I ain't gonna front you gotta get back on your on your melodic shit like from melodic shit like you gotta get back on that shit like he trying to tell me like I be telling him like I ain't gonna front like I think I lost that shit I ain't gonna front because yeah. I figured do that shit in a minute type shit like so when we see the first melodic track it's gonna be with you and Aiden yeah yeah that's who y'all probably gonna see it with my, me and my son Aiden go I ain't gonna front yeah. I feel like he got it for the time right now with the with the voice shit alright no front um. I did I asked Mullah there's an Aiden, speaking about Aiden, two years ago. Where's the three hundred tape? Where is the compilation of all of y'all wanted? Yeah, that's a fact. I ain't gonna front. We was just thinking about doing a three hundred cipher too before my son Mullah got locked up too. Mm. And so we were just thinking about doing a three hundred cipher, but shit was just getting like I don't know, it was just mad shit just was going on and mm. shit. I done just came home, niggas going in, niggas going out. For me. But who who are the other members of Three Hundred like rapper wise, you know, doing music that people should tune in? I know I want besides like Mula Bori, I feel like those two are always getting shown love. But who who do you feel like people from other? Yeah, There's a lot of us right now. I don't like my son Jay Hale, my son Ty Hale, my son Veli Vels, like more recognition because he really like for me. My son really nice gangster. My son Loose. Like a couple niggas mm-hmm. like on front. Couple, couple niggas. Mm-hmm. My son Blaze, that shot. Couple niggas I can name. Right. We all like, we all rappers get, for me, like, mm-hmm. all of us. And, and you know, it's crazy. Like, so not all of you guys are all drill rappers. Some of you guys do other shit. Yeah, yeah, gangster, of course. Niggas know. <laughs> niggas know. We don't do you guys feel like you guys have the most versatile rappers? Yeah, yeah. We got, we got rappers that could do, like, different shit too, like, mm-hmm. gangster. We can switch it up, like, for me. Oh, okay. It's not only drill rap. Like, we can do other shit. Mm-hmm. And with rap, are you trying to venture out to different businesses? Are you trying to do other shit? I know, like, for example, like, C-Blue, he, he's doing Twitch. Like, are you planning to use rap to get into other fields, or are you just focusing on just rapping right now? No, yeah, I'm just focusing on rapping career right now. I do play 2K, though. I, like, I be doing, like, I don't, I don't know about streaming shit, though, like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I do play 2K, though. I'm, you, I'm nice you know who's supposed to 2K? Shimi, you better than Shimi? Now, yeah, my son see me nice, though. I be seeing him him and my son Sticky and shit. Uh, that's right. another nigga that's nice, too. My son Sticky. Gangsta. Right. So you the best 2K player in here? Between? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, Niggas man. know. <laughs> he know. <laughs> <laughs> he, he not better? So if y'all play... We you, play together and we smoke niggas, but... We just finished playing that. He know. Bro. He know. I ain't gonna to spank me, but... Yeah. <laughs> I get back, though. GBT <laughs> shit. <laughs> Okay, I'm playing uh, on P4, I'm playing on P5. Nah, yeah. I be playing, I be trying to play on, I can play on next gen too, but I just don't want to switch it up and just, like, do like a whole different type of. Yeah, most of our shit, friends like, is on P4, so. Like, most of my friends is on P4 too, so me, so. I don't be knowing nobody that's on next gen, like. Uh, Alright. And then, um, alright, so speaking of my friends, when you go to the studio, do you want everyone to pull up or are you very limited? Like, I'm not trying to OD, I just try to focus. Like, how you, when you go to approach the studio, how do you approach it? Do you bring 20 people? Do you bring five? Or go dolo? Nah, sometimes, I, like, I be bringing the guys with me. Like, whoever want to come with me, like, yo, you trying to make a track with me or something? Like, what we, what we doing? Like, niggas come. Let me go, like, make some tracks. Sometimes I go up dolo, too. See if I feel like it. Like, if I feel like I need some dolo tracks. That's how I be thinking. Like, if I feel like I need some dolo tracks, I'm going to go dolo. And now if I feel like I'm going to do like. If we want to do something with the guys, I'm going to just call the guys up. Just put that shit. I'm going right. to be in there. Right. All right. And then, you know, my last question. I always ask this question. What type of legacy do you want to have with the name Chan 300? When people bring it up, you know, you guys already built a movement for 300. But individually, what do you want people to know you? Motivation. Everything, man. Just right. motivation. What else, man? Or just people to look at me, like, think of me, like, as, like, motivation, thinking I'm better, like, doing better. Like, I just want people to look at me like I'm a star. I ain't gonna lie. That's just how I'm looking. I'm right. trying to be a star. All right. All right. And before we head out, what you want to say to the supporters and everyone that's tuned in? Everybody tune in to my son. Intro care for me. Good out. Boom. 300 shit. What's your Instagram? Chunk 300 underscore. All right. Thank tune you for coming in. through. That's a fact.